In this video, I'm going to show you how to initialize and configure an IP camera on a network for use over the network. So here I'm on my NVR. I'm going to right click, go to main menu, log into the admin user using the graphical user password. Here at the bottom, I can see network setting and camera setting. I've already gone into the network setting and confirmed that my NVR is communicating on the network. So now I can focus on the cameras. I'm going to click the camera setting here. It's going to bring me to the camera device list. Here I can search for devices on my network. It's going to find the two IP cameras I have on my network. One of the IP cameras is for our office, so we're going to go ahead and leave that one alone. The other one is an uninitialized IP PTZ camera. In order to initialize this camera, we're going to check it. At the right hand side, top right hand side, we can see the initialize button. I'm going to click the initialize button. I'm going to want to use the local password and email. This is going to set the camera up with the recovery password and email that you set on your NVR. We suggest you leave this as the factory default and you'll of course want this to be on your camera as well. So we'll leave this checked. Click the next button. Here's where we can set our IP addresses. In our example we are going to set this to 81. We recommend setting up one camera at a time. That way you don't confuse them or lose them or lose track of them. Of course you're going to want to go ahead and label this as camera 1 with an IP address of 81 if you're following our example. If you're setting up your own system, make sure you follow your own system. If you're initializing several cameras at once, then you could of course try to do that and then you could set an incremental value of 1 or 2 or 3 and that would skip IP addresses in between. However, for the sake of simplicity, we recommend setting an incremental value of 1. For example, this would set the next camera to 81, the third camera to 83, and so on and so forth. That way you keep organized when you set up your system on the network. Since we're only dealing with one camera here, and we suggest only set setting one camera up at a time, we'll set it to 81 and click the Next button. Here you can see that it's going to initialize the camera and you'll want a result of initialize succeed and modify IP succeed. If you have multiple cameras and you're doing it on multiple cameras, you'll of course want a succeed status for all of the cameras that you're trying to configure at the same time. Finally, we can click the OK button. We can search our network again to verify that the IP address changed and then we have a green status. Again, the green status means that the camera is initialized. And then after it's done loading, we can checkbox the camera and then click the Add button. After a few seconds, it'll type in the password for the camera, and then we got a green connection status. Hopefully this video helps you configure your camera on your network and add it to your NVR. Thank you for watching.